Never doing that again. What's going on, guys? I drank last night uh, with Mackenzie. She's uh, gone right now, but we drank pretty hardcore for Cinco de Mayo, so just played a bunch of Power Hour and stuff, but you'll see all that in this video. I just got to get up and get going, so enjoy this video. The darkest hour before the light A hidden treasure plain in sight For a moment standing still They say we're crazy, they say we're ill What they don't understand They fear inside What they don't understand They try to I was supposed to upload a video uh, for you guys this morning, but uh, I had unexpected assignment, which should have been expected just because I'm bad at reading instructions and getting used to getting uh, getting back into school. But um, I got the assignment turned in. Probably gonna take some points off, but at least I got everything in on the, within a reasonable amount of time. Right now it's raining and it's thunderstorming outside. I think I saw. Um, there are some warnings in our area um, that I saw on the news yesterday, but it's not going to stop me from going to the gym. And also, I have work tonight um, at 5 p.m. and then it goes till 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Switching to nights this month, so I'm up early. It's about 11 o'clock. I woke up at 10:30. So I weighed myself first thing in the morning, and today is the first day of uh, my serious cut. Um, this is where I'm putting my foot down on the gas pedal, really. I'm going to start uh, taking another fat burner. Um, this one is a no joke fat burner. I'm really excited to try it out. I think it's gonna help a lot. And on top of that, six days a week cardio, 30 minutes a day. Um, on top of my giant lifting session, hitting 400 plus reps for each body part. And while I have you guys here, and I'm talking in the beginning of this video, I just wanna let you guys know that uh, the amount of videos that I've been pumping out, I feel, um, is above average um, for a beginning YouTuber, which is twice a week, um, and I, the quality that I'm putting out. Because every other beginning YouTube channel that I see typically contains some talking in the beginning, we walk around a little bit, go to the gym, and then do a voiceover of their gym session. Um, whereas I'm putting in the work to make a cinema a cinematic experience on every video um, and that takes about an hour just for a five minute clip usually and then the rest of it I just piece together um, but by any means I'm not going to stop vlogging at all I want to keep growing my YouTube channel I like making videos I like documenting my life in a very cinematic way um, so not by any means going to stop. I'm not going anywhere, but uh, it's just getting stressful thinking about going to school more often or I'm gonna try doing maybe two classes coming up um, this fall at a time um, and just doing one class is overwhelming with YouTube just because YouTube I'm so dedicated to. I've dedicated my mind to it that I was, it was stressing me out with work and with everything else and I was actually putting YouTube above everything else for about a week or two. I was just saying, no, I need to get this video done. Um, so I'm gonna not do that. Um, I'm going to upload when I can, um, but it's always going to be a Wednesday or a Sunday. Um, so it'll still be the same schedule. There just might be Wednesdays or Sundays that are missed just because I wasn't able to film and edit because it's something unexpected happened. That's what happens in life. You're not going to be able to always create great content um, for twice a week when you have a full-time job going to school 
and I'm trying to teach myself to write code for software development. So, yeah, it's a very stressful time, but at the same time, I'm excited because I have three and a half, four years left here until I can get out and go to school full time and I'll have those extra college credits going toward um, my degree. So, uh, thanks for listening to my thoughts. Uh, if you did listen to all of this, I know it's kind of annoying to listen to other people's problems, but this is my outlet, and if you want to know about my life and stuff like that, this is the best way to do it. I don't post on Facebook, I don't post on Instagram about my stresses. I usually only post positive things, and I try not to post anything political or anything, but YouTube is where everything is coming out. I actually have gotten to the point where I feel like when I talk to the camera, I'm talking to people. I'm talking to somebody. Um, but it is still a little difficult not having any feedback, you know. Uh, whether it be in the comment sections or initially when I'm talking to the camera, it's, it's I'm not able to be as silly as I usually am, but I've, got, I've gotten a lot more comfortable since I started in September. But, yeah, um, also over this I put some workout footage uh, of today's workout, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. This video is going to run on into probably Thursday. Um, or Friday. Mackenzie just finished her finals and uh, or, or she should be finishing finals by the time you're seeing this video and we're going to uh, hang out and do some cool stuff maybe I don't know. But anyways I don't know what just happened to the screen. So that's what oh temperature's getting high. All right talk to you guys in a bit. Oh shit I'm wearing a top knot. And that is all of our laundry. I'm wearing a top knot. You got it. You got there. You go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Boop. Boys, it's Friday night right now. Cinco de Mayo, my friends. Okay. So what we're going to do is, huh? I was just doing an accent. It's it's like nine o'clock. Um, and we're gonna do our carb load tonight. Get some beers. Get some other stuff from Walmart. I gotta get my wallet. Okay. <laughs> Transition. <laughs> I can't do it. Coming to the mecca of, of food, late night food, 24 hour food, groceries. Walmart. Why do you need your wallet? You know I'm your sugar daddy. <laughs> Not really. To uh, review your files from earlier. That's stupid. How does it feel to have your first book pu published? You're, you're in a magazine now. I do give Walmart props for having kale versus Win Dixie not having kale. Be healthy with the 96.4, which is not still not healthy because meat. Not too bad though. Not too shabby. Some of the fat free shit. Just add tequila. Tequila. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why are they all soggy? This is not safe. Thanks, babe. Good. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it. That one of those. Just me and my posse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe. 
these things are amazing. Extreme bites. How are tonight? <laughs> yeah. Hey YouTube, what happened? Take that! We were in Walmart, right? And we were cashing out at a nice conveyor belt type cash register thing. But then some lady ran over, or some guy came ran over and said, Come over to this cash register. Then the cast customer service lady said, No, never mind, don't do that one. And then we lost our spot in line, so now we're really sour about it. So now we're eating sour candy um, because we're sour. So, going home. And I, I usually take the cards back and put them in the home, but I didn't. So, let's experience two new foods, or actually, I'm about to experience another one, but Reese's poops. Yeah. Believe it or not. I call it poops because Max Tuning calls it poops. It's my hero. Um, but they're delicious. If you've never had Reese's poops, which I'm sure everyone has because she has. And she, and she, Everybody. And she's a major hipster just by nature. She doesn't really, you know. Now I'm gonna have Dave's Bread uh, Epic Everything Bagel. It's in the, the uh, toaster right now, AKA the oven. So, um. Now we have two. Yeah, we do have two toaster ovens. I don't know if I told you guys, but we got a free toaster oven. Oh yeah, that's right. And I thanked everybody or whoever on YouTube. Still find out who's from. Yeah, it probably was supposed to go to somebody else and... Like someone not us? Not oh no, it had our name and everything. It was weird. Inspired by kittens! <laughs> ah! oh Freshly showered in my most comfy Star Wars Pants, Darth Vader pants, most badass pajama pants you can ask for. Got these from my step, no, mother-in-law. <laughs> Not stepmother, that's weird. Mother-in-law. So thank you, Melinda McQueen. Thanks. Thanks. And your daughter is pooping. Some Reese's Poofs mixed with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh my god! I don't know the words to this part. We have a lot of fun in the Magoy's house. <laughs> it's a problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Denial, bitches. Denial? <laughs> I'm drinking a shot of margarita mix. Ah! Decided we're playing Power Hour. 
with some pre-made margarita mix. Bitches. We are bitches, but we're gonna take it as shots, and after an hour, we should be nice and fun. Uh, it's so sugary! Drink bitches. I got it to work. Made a rule for this game. We're playing Power Hour, and we're making rules. Every time I pick up the camera, I have to take a drink. Every time she talks to the dogs in a baby voice, she has to <laughs> take a drink. Oh, and I gotta take a drink. That's all I know. <laughs> Touch my hand. Oh my god. Cuz you dropped your comb or your microphone? Sleeping baby next door. <sighs> I guess so. <laughs> I get very nervous when you stand that close to me. Drink bitches. Mm, you're okay. Something in my eye. Dreams come true. God. Okay, ready? God, you, why are you headbutting it forward? You're throwing it at my <laughs> You gotta go feet. underneath and then you just, you gotta, you gotta place your head underneath. Okay. You're supposed to move a little bit, Jesus. <laughs> wow, this is weird. It's like a dying penguin. Or like a drunk penguin. Is this a drunk penguin? You might be a little loud there, honey. Is that from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? No, uh, that is the Carlton. That's like... Oh yeah, it's kind of similar. This is where Colby gets his dance moves. Why do you make that scary face? I feel like you always make that. Okay. <laughs> You're so loud. I'm heavy. I can't just dance at one in the morning and not make noise. Oh man, this feels good. I like this kind of music. Fuck. It hits you right in the heart. <laughs> you know this song? Mm. Oh, did they say drink bitches? No, I just heard something and I did it. <laughs> 